In Greek mythology, the Muses were the goddesses of literature, science, and the arts. They were also all sisters and daughters of Zeus and Nemesis, in addition to being romantic companions of Apollo, god of the arts. The Muses did not begin their lives as such, but were actually born as nymphs that manifested as whispers in the ears of all those who invoked them. To begin with, the Greek Muses were created in celebration of the victory of the gods over the Titans, but they developed to be much more than that. The Muses played a huge role in the artistic development of the ancient Greeks, and were a source of inspiration for all artists. The Greek Muses were worshipped widely until Christianity took over as the dominant religion in Europe. Each of the Greek Muses is associated with her own individual form of art and knowledge. The Nine Muses are as follows. Calliope is the oldest of the Nine Muses, and she is connected to the art of epic poetry and eloquence. According to the ancient Greek writer, Hesiod, for whom the Muses were a huge inspiration, Calliope held a very high status among the Muses. Calliope went on to marry Iagra with whom she had two children, Orpheus and Linus. Calliope has been given the name, the one with the beautiful voice, because she taught Achilles how to sing. In terms of appearance, we see Calliope presented as a beautiful young woman, wearing a golden gown and a slew of garments. She is also often depicted as carrying a trumpet in one hand and a scroll of parchment in the other. Cleo was the muse of history. She had the power to immortalize anyone, whether they were heroes, poets, or politicians. She did this by making their deeds so unforgettable that they would be remembered throughout the eons. Cleia means to make famous, renowned. The common belief was that Cleo could bless those she favored with historical immortality. Cleo is frequently depicted with a book written by Thucydides and, interestingly, is considered to be the creator of the guitar. Of all the muses, Erato was the one who inspired the most heartache and devotion. She was the muse of romance and poetry, specifically romantic poetry. The winged god Eros was a common accompaniment to the muse, and he gave her lots of ideas. Eros was the god of erotic love, and so the pair together could inspire the hearts of writers to create ardent and deep works of art. In ancient Greece, Erato was typically depicted wearing a laurel wreath but, since the Renaissance period, has been depicted instead wearing a crown covered with myrtle and roses. She is also typically represented carrying a zither, which is a small lyre-like instrument invented by Hermes. The name, Erato, means lovely, and she had the ability to make all those who were guided by her to be desirable and worthy of being loved. Euterpe is a Greek muse that goes by a number of different names. Euterpe is the muse of music and lyric poetry, and is also known as, the very pleasant one, and, the one with a pleasant genius. In ancient Greece, music was just as cherished, and so this muse's name translates as the giver of delight. Whilst Euterpe is the muse of all music, she is most closely associated with the flute. This muse is typically depicted wearing a crown of flowers in her hair and carrying a double piccolo in her hands. She can also be seen carrying other instruments like the violin, the guitar, and drums. Euterpe had a child named Riso, who was famous in his own right for being the warrior who died at the hands of Diomedes in Troy, the story of which is detailed in Homer's Iliad. Melpomene, whose name means, the melodious one, is one of the two Greek muses of theater. To begin with, Melpomene was just the muse of singing and musical harmony, but, over time, she became better known as the muse of tragedy. Melpomene is commonly depicted wearing a diadem and luxurious dresses. In artwork, her role is illustrated by the holding of a dagger, a sword, a tragic mask, or an expression of grieving. Melpomene was also the mother of the sirens. The sirens were beautiful half-women, half-bird creatures, sometimes depicted as mermaids, who would sing enchantingly to sailors so that they would be lured to their death in the water below. Tragic, in itself, it is believed that Melpomene had everything a woman could desire, including beauty, money, and men, however, the one thing that she did not have was happiness. This upsetting fact about Melpomene is said to embody the nature of tragedy in and of itself, that you can have everything you ever wanted without ever satisfying your innermost desires.
Earlier we learned that Melpomene is one of two Greek muses of theater, and Talia is the other. The name, Talia, means, flourishing. Whilst Melpomene is associated with tragedy, Talia is closely linked with comedy and poetry that evokes the natural world. Sometimes, comic playwrights would even weave philosophy into their works. Philosophy told through comedy was often a light-hearted way of introducing complicated topics to audiences. For this reason, Talia is commonly depicted as a joyful young woman, often laughing. She is also shown to be wearing a mocking expression and carrying the theatrical mask of comedy. Polyhymnia is the muse of lyric poetry and is credited in Greek mythology with creating the lyre, harmony, and even agriculture. In addition to all of this, Polyhymnia is also the muse of dance, geometry, and rhetoric. Her name means many praises. In terms of her appearance, Polyhymnia is often depicted in white clothing, leaning on a pedestal and gazing off into the distance with an introspective look. She is also occasionally depicted with a chain in her hands, which symbolizes the power that she had over being eloquent. Those who wished to give eloquent speeches in the sphere of politics would pray to Polyhymnia and ask for her guidance. The muses all enjoyed dancing, but Terpsichore was the one with the dominion over dance and choral song. Her name in ancient Greek means delighting in dance. In modern English, her name is the root of many words related to the theme of dance. For example, Terpsichorean means relating to dance, and Terpsichore is the chosen name for many songs and dance tunes throughout history. In ancient Greek culture, dance was an important part of the way society understood notions of harmony and the soul. Dancing was also a method of praising the gods and celebrating at festivals. The god Dionysus also known as Bacchus was especially worshipped through dance. He had a special group of followers called the Maenads who would drink wine and dance frenziedly. Terpsichore would dance alongside them and inspire others to move their feet. She is often depicted as a happy young woman with a joyful and light-hearted personality. Apart from music, song, and dance, the Muses also had influence over the scientific sphere. Urania is the youngest of the nine Muses, and is the Muse of Astronomy and Astrology. Urania's name in Ancient Greek means Heavenly One, and she was frequently mentioned as having a soft voice and a pleasant temperament. Urania had the power to inspire scientific thought to help humans advance beyond their time. Urania is commonly seen wearing a blue dress with a globe in close proximity to her, upon which she measures positions with a compass. On her head, she is depicted wearing a crown of stars, with a selection of different mathematical instruments at her feet. This is why Urania is also considered as the muse of mathematics. Urania also had the power to tell the future. Through divination, she would discern the fate of humans. Due to this, her advice was valued and keenly sought. In the presence of Urania, humans would be inspired to gaze at the stars and ponder.